So, they did it. They really actually did it. If you haven't touched Space Marine 2 in a while, first off, I don't know why, because Season 2 just started, but Space Marine 2 have just recently released their patch notes. And so I wanted to go through the, that with you real quick. And this isn't going to be just a patch rundown. I'm going to quickly just go through and see what they did and talk to you about what's been going on. You probably have heard the news that, uh, essentially Space Marine 2 pulled a Helldivers 2. We were all so worried they were going to do this. I remember tweeting out to them personally saying, do not pull a Helldivers, don't nerf stuff to the ground, and don't do anything of that sort. And they did. They, they really did. So we're going to go ahead and go through this. And even though I'm making it sound really bad right now, I want to try to shed some light. Yes, these changes are bad. They're not as bad as we all thought. So the first thing I want to look at is the new operation is the Termination. It takes place on the planet Kadaku, which is the original planet we went to with Titus. And new dreadful foes have arrived. I don't know why it says foes, there's only one new one, and that's the Hierophant. Basically, the Bio-Titan of the Tyranids. It's awesome. It's awesome to look at, it's cool to walk up to, and all that good stuff. Really, I really like this operation, I really do. I know not a lot of people are a fan of the boss fight. Uh, I'd say even only some people are not a fan of the boss fight. Most people I talk to actually really enjoy it. But there are some problems with it. For example, the first the boss fight is basically one person fights it while the rest are clearing out the tiny hordes. And they're trying to also stay alive and make sure that they're good to go. You also are not allowed to use your primary when you're using it. And the game doesn't tell you. But what the thing is to use to guide the last cannons is basically your pistol gets like a red dot sight, a laser sight on it. And it, you have to aim down sights and hold it and charge it up to aim at the hero fin. The game doesn't tell you this. If you need to use your pistol because there's range enemies attacking you, you are not allowed to aim down sights. You have to hip fire it. That's all fine and dandy, you know, just I wish they would have explained that. But if you're playing the heavy class, do not pick this up. Heavy is not allowed to fight the hero fin because it's just a you don't have a good melee, you only have your bash and your stomps. And when you're surrounded like that while trying to avoid the hero fin's attacks, it, it's not fun, it really isn't. But otherwise, I really enjoyed the new operation. I it's really I really like it. I do find it funny that the second part of the act is essentially in a building, which is something I did not expect for this mission was to be inside a building for such a long time because all the promotional stuff and everything in the images and the patch notes and stuff like that all were like outside you're fighting with all these giant imperium forces and tanks and stuff like that so my only two complaints and like i said they're minor other than that i think this new operation is a banger the biggest thing that got added lethal difficulty for the operations and here's some of the stuff they did. Ammo crates have limited refills per player. This sounds horrible on paper. There's actually a good amount of ammo in an ammo crate. I think I've un... I think I've taken all the ammo in an ammo crate once. And I've been grinding this game all weekend. So, it, it sucks. But it's not as bad as they made it sound. There's plenty of ammo for everyone. Majorous enemies can become enraged and will be more deadly and harder to kill. That is very true. They basically just become tankier and they do even more damage. And there's already a complaint that enemies in this game do too much damage, depending on the difficulty. What I think people are forgetting is that we are Space Marines. We are one of the most powerful units in the Imperium. And yet we're getting, like, tossed aside with some of these attacks. And it's really... I don't know, I really don't like it. I get it, we want difficulty, but I shouldn't be getting thrown around so much. I shouldn't be ragged on. My armor shouldn't be failing as hard. This is some of the best armor in 40k. Why does it feel like we're fighting naked? But I get it, it's also a video game, so obviously we need some difficulty. Armor restores from finishers only if you stay close to your battle brothers. This is the thing that everyone hates. This is the worst thing they've added, and I'm never going to defend it. The armor tethering to your teammates is such a short range, it's ridiculous. Me and my buddies will literally spread out just a little bit to try to keep us from getting super sworn. It kind of gets the horde to split as well. 
It works. We love it. And then they just come in and they do this, and it's so bad. It's so short. If you're an Assault or a Vanguard player, I personally am a Vanguard meme. Good luck. You use your ability, you are now away from the team. And if you need to quickly execute to get your armor back, well, you're not getting any armor back because you decide to do what you're made for. It goes against multiple classes. Snipers sitting in the back shooting, but if they get jumped by a but if they get jumped by a hive, now they need to execute to make sure they keep their armor so they can get back to helping their teammates. They're too far away because they're a sniper. It's dumb. I n if anyone defends the armor tethering, I don't know what to tell you. It breaks three of the classes. And then of course we have all these people like, Oh, I play Assault and I actually carried a team through there. That's good for you, dude. It doesn't mean that this isn't a bad mechanic. And this is something I'm hoping this week that they are going to immediately revert. A lot of people are saying they're just gonna, they're not gonna revert it. They're not gonna get rid of it. They're gonna just simply make the radius bigger. Uh, I'd rather just have it completely gone. It's not a good thing at all, and I hate it with every being of my passion. Overcoming such a challenge will grant you new cosmetics. It's two cosmetics. It's a scratched up helmet and a dissolving power sword. The dissolving power sword and the helmet do look amazing. I do like them, but it's two things. And to get the power sword, you need to defeat the newest, you need to defeat the hero friend on lethal difficulty. And then you need to do all the other operations for the helmet on lethal difficulty. That's a lot of work for that helmet, I'm going to be honest. But it's a cool thing to work towards too. Once they get rid of this stupid armor tethering, it'll actually be okay to get. They apparently changed the fencing weapon's perfect parry window. It has the same duration as balance weapons. I haven't noticed a difference, so I'm just going to skip right over that right now. Uh, melee perks, they all now grant the Chainsword, Power Fist, and Combat Knife charge attacks more damage increase, which is nice. The Auspex Scan on Tactical, bonus damage has been reduced on bosses by 30%. And then right next to that, the Melta Charge damage to bosses is reduced by 70%. Now, don't get me wrong, the Melta Charge still does a lot of damage, but obviously this is towards bosses. And it feels like just a normal frag grenade. I'm gonna be 100% honest, and I don't agree with this. I understand the developers were probably not happy that people were speedrunning the Hive Tyrant fight. Just make the Hive Tyrant more tanky. Instead of nerfing our weapon to buff the Hive Tyrant. It's like people say, like in a PvE game, don't nerf stuff because there's stuff too good. Buff the weak things. And the fact that these developers do not understand that after everything that has happened with Helldivers, now this Space Marine patch, I swear developers ignore feedback. I really, really do. The last couple of changes that were super big was basically difficulty. Uh, they, they changed Ruthless a little bit. Ammo crates now have limited refills per player on Ruthless, and player's armor is reduced by 15%. That doesn't mean you lose a chunk of armor, a chunk of one of your armors. Your armor is just slightly weaker. I hate it. <laughs> Stop making us weaker for a challenge. What people have been asking for is buff enemies. But put more enemies on the ground if you have to. But don't nerf us to compensate for the enemies failing. People are running through Ruthless. That doesn't hunt mean punish the player. That's what bugs me more than anything. Oh, these guys are too good at our game. We gotta punish them for being too good. No! That's the opposite of what we want. And that's exactly what Helldivers 2 was doing. And everybody... Don't tell me Focus and Saber and anyone else who worked on this game was not aware of the Helldivers 2 scenario because Helldivers 2 flopping gave this game hell of publicity. And the fact that they came out and did a patch similar to that is insane to me. Everything you've seen and you still release this patch. I'm excited to see what they do this week to fix everything because they have already responded to a lot of this stuff. I'm going to pull that up right here for you. Dear Space Marines, we closely read your feedback regarding the latest patch for Space Marine 2, and we are actively working on another one including balancing fixes. It should release next week. Again, thank you for your support. That's awesome that they're already working on this. Like, this shouldn't have happened. But, like I said, it shouldn't have happened. You guys knew. 
You can't tell me they were unaware of what happened with Helldivers 2 and that their company did not go, we should probably make sure we don't make those same mistakes since everyone's comparing our games to those games. It's just insane to me. One of the big things is that they fixed basically how the, all the difficulties are a lot harder now. Um, bosses can spawn a lot more frequently now. Ruthless, which used to be what people would run through, what, which was the hardest difficulty, now can spawn a lot harder enemies, which I welcome. But stuff like Substantial, Substantial can spawn in a lot of like majorous and terminus enemies now. And that's weird to people because that's the third highest difficulty. So there, you're not expecting like before this patch, Substantial was like a... I would say it's the most lore accurate to a Space Marine armor, and I'm not an expert at all, but I've been talking to someone who is, and I would say that Substantial is like the perfect balance of like how powerful a Space Marine should be. You're not killing hordes of enemies while you're taking a nap while playing, but there is some challenge, but if you are if you know what you're doing, you can easily get through it, but you're not sitting here sweating like you're playing a Valorant competitive match. And they... they According to what people are saying, they have made it harder so it's not as chill anymore. I have only been playing on Ruthless and Lethal Difficulty, so I haven't checked those out yet. But I wanted to mention that. There are people who are doing some math on it, and they're saying, like, yeah, they're, these enemies are spawning way too much. Apparently the Noanthrope is getting spawned way too much, and that thing is, like, the number one killer in Space Marine 2. It's also the most annoying thing to fight, because it's in the air. And with these ant limited ammo things... It's harder to kill these things until they come down and do their uh, pulsating attack where you can finally go melee them. But it drags the fight out so much. So they have a lot of stuff to do. They, they really do. And I'm really hopeful. A lot of people have already called like, they're doing the same thing as Helldivers 2. I'm out of here. I don't care anymore. They should have learned their lesson. I'm holding out for one thing. I'm holding out that they fix this and that it never happens again. If they do that, they will regain my trust. So we need to see what this patch is going to be this week, and we need to see how it is. And like I said, I welcome difficulty in this game, but I don't want it to be punishing us because we're too good. I think that's stupid. The, arm, the ammo having limited charges is okay. I don't think it's the worst thing ever. Remove the armor tether. That is the worst mechanic to have ever been thought of for a weapon like this, for a game like this. This is not Dark Tide. And stop trying to be Dark Tide. You are Space Marine 2. But yeah, I just wanted to cover that real quick before they launch the patch this week and try to fix everything. Just wanted to leave a video recording basically what happened. So if they do this again, I really don't know what they're going to do. Do not lose the faith of your player base. You became the number one 40k game on Steam. Don't ruin it over stupid nonsense like this. But yeah, if you liked what you saw, please go ahead and leave a like and comment. And why don't you hit that subscribe button for me. I'm trying to get to 600 subs by the end of this year. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.